What's up guys, Justin here with the RenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 12 feature tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to get a little bit more in depth talking about the new decals function that's contained inside of Lumion 12. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so if you remember inside of this new version of Lumion, they've added the ability to place decals inside of your scenes. And so the decals are basically 2D images that go on surfaces. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at these. So you can find them by going into place mode under effects, and then there's an option in here for decals. So right now there's a library of decals that are added inside of Lumion. Um, one thing that everybody's already talked about, and I'll mention it as well, is currently you are limited to the decals that are already um, in this library. So you can't add your own custom decals or anything like that. Um, I think everyone is pretty much expecting the ability to add custom decals to come into release later on this year. So it would be nice to kind of be able to add our own, but I would expect that to be something that will come in the future. So let's take a look at what we do have. So we have um, a we have collections for asphalt damage, chalk, drawings, covers. Um, the dirt and the drainage are things that can really kind of add some interest to some surfaces that you don't necessarily, that we couldn't necessarily do before, as well as some exposed brick and some other things like that. But let's take a look at how these work. So first thing, let's say that we wanted to add a manhole. Maybe let's go with the middle of the road right here. So. We're just gonna go into the covers collection. Notice how there's two options in here for manhole cover. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the manhole cover and then we're gonna select a surface. And notice how this automatically orients to the surfaces, whether they're facing up and down or um, if they're flat like this. So we're just gonna click. And so when we click on this, notice what it does is it places this decal on the surface right here. And so you can place as many of these as you want to. Um, I wonder, I haven't tried this. So you currently, it doesn't appear that you can do like a mass place or anything like that. They're just placed one at a time. But what you can do is you can click on this, select them, and then notice how you have some different options over here associated with the different decals. So the first is gonna be the transparency. And what that's gonna do is that's going to adjust how strong this effect is in here. So this isn't necessarily something that we would want for a manhole cover because there's nothing transparent about a manhole cover. It's just a thing that's in the ground. But let's say that we had something like, we'll go with um, a pothole like this. So we're gonna go with this pothole right here and we're gonna place it on the ground. Well, notice how with this pothole, it doesn't really match very well with our surface. Um, but what we could do is we could make it a little bit more transparent like this. Well, notice how when you make it a little bit more transparent, it blends better on the surface. So that gives us the ability to kind of blend the decals in with the surface around them. Um, in addition, notice how there is an option for these to adjust the color. So if you adjust the color, notice how it's gonna colorize these a little bit. Now you do need to be kind of careful with this. Um, again, the manhole is probably not a good fit, but if you do need to change the color of something, like let's say we were to change the color of this pothole, for example, you could do that using this tool. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us the ability to kind of match things a little bit better if we need to do that. All right, so we'll talk more about range in a second, but orientation is gonna allow us to affect the direction that this decal is facing. So notice how if I click and drag this, it's just gonna be oriented in a different direction. And so let's say that we were to work on a vertical face. Let's say we wanted to add a little bit of detail to this face to make it look a little bit more worn. So what we could do is we could jump into our decals and we're gonna select something out of the plaster collection. So maybe this plaster object right here. We're gonna place it on our surface like this. So what that's gonna do is that's going to give us the ability to make this surface look like it had some kind of repairs or damage in the past or something like that. And so this range function is kind of interesting. Basically what the range function does is it basically uses this bounding box to figure out if this decal is actually intersecting with anything on a face like this. And then it places the decal wherever that is. And so let's say that we were to place a decal on this surface right here right, just like this. So we're just gonna click on the surface. Notice how you can scale these to adjust the size. But for right now, let's say that we wanted that to be on this surface 
right here. And so we've currently got this placed on this surface. Well, if we were to use the range slider, basically what that's gonna do is all Lumion is doing is it's using this bounding box. If the bounding box is intersecting with a surface in this direction, it's placing that decal. So notice how if I was to adjust that bounding box like this so that it's intersecting with this surface in multiple places, then those decals are gonna be placed everywhere where this intersects with a surface. Now, I'm not 100% sure, yeah, it only does it in one direction, meaning it's not placing them on the other side. It's basically looking this direction and saying, okay, if the box runs into anything in this direction, then we want it to place a decal. So I'm, I'm not necessarily sure that this is a really great application for this just because there's no, um, there's no randomness to it. So you don't want it to be exactly the same, but I think there might be some places where that would be helpful. And so in addition, there's also some advanced functions in here. So things like flip horizontal or flip vertical, which is basically going to allow you to mirror these objects. And then there's also tools in here for blend colors, right? So notice how if I drag this to the left or to the right, the blending with that surface gets even better, right? So up above the transparency makes it so that this object is a little bit more transparent and the color isn't actually like clashing with the face that it's on. The blend colors is actually going to adjust the way that these blend together. And then these down below are going to blend other things like the glossiness, the normals, other things like that. So let's say for example, that we had this surface, which is kind of glossy and we were to place this on this surface. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the scale down on that a little bit like that. But notice how if I was to drag this to the left for blend glossiness, notice how the glossiness of the surface behind it starts to kind of show through. So what happens is you start getting that same reflection off of the decal that you're getting off of the surface behind it. So you can use that in order to kind of blend those together to make the transition a little bit more seamless. So blend normals is going to be the same thing where notice how if I drag this all the way to the left, then this doesn't look as bumpy as if we were to drag it to the right. That's because the bumpiness of the surface that it's on is really kind of taking over. So you can use that in order to blend together the roughness of the surface using the normals option. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Um, I think this is a really promising new function. I think for it to be super useful for people, you're gonna have to have the ability to add your own custom decals um, because they're so scene specific and project specific. So like I said, I think everyone is kind of expecting that to come out in a future release. But everything else about the tool I like. I like the way you can blend things together. I like the way that you can use that bounding box to place multiple decals. But I would like to see the option added to add your own custom decals in the future. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.